Hey guys, so, um, yeah, uh, welcome to another Diamond Painting Club unboxing. But I'm gonna get into this box and see what's in here, although I have peeked, but I'm super excited. And remember, I have changed my, uh, preferences so many times I can't even remember what I get anymore. But they have taken note of my, like, hey, holy, okay. We're going to look at these in a minute. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know where my... I always forget which camera I'm, like, talking to and which camera I'm showing things to. <laughs> they have taken my notes about, like, extra wax. And I'm super, like, into these tweezers. I'm going to, like, take them off and show them to you because I've never seen those kind before. And it's pretty exciting. And... Let's see what I've got here. We're going to set all the diamond paintings and their stuff to the side because we know we're going to look in our extra stuff first. So I'm going to go ahead and set all of these goodies on the floor for later perusal. That was a bump. Um, so let's turn this back this way. And I have the letter just in case we need it. Now... There's a lot going on in this box. Um, okay. So, this says mini book and mini world. World view. Oh, okay. These are bookends. So, and I think this is going to be the hot air balloon model. So, let's open this up. Ooh! Ooh, we're gonna have to film this, you guys. There's like little tiny trains in here. And all kinds of little pieces. And oh, that's sandpaper. And like little bitty housing pieces. And there's a lot going on in this box. There's more like wood pieces to pop out. This looks like a bottom or a top. This looks like a glass piece, maybe? Like a plasticky something or other. But I think, okay, these are my instructions. And I'm going to have this, like, bookend thing when I get done. Yeah, that's what it's going to look like. Um, There's a lot going on in here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to film me fail at this. Because we all know that I am good at very specific things. Well, I don't know if you guys know that, but I do. I'm very good at, um, I like to call it structured creativity. So like diamond paintings or color by numbers, something where it tells me what my finished product should be so that I know my finished product is something I want. So this looks insane and it looks like something you guys would enjoy watching me struggle with because we all know like all good youtubers just they have to have a video where they struggle um because people like watching people struggle apparently okay we're gonna deal with that at a later date just like we're gonna deal with those lanterns i promise we will deal with those lanterns from last month at a later date okay this is an embroidered Chinese dragon mask. And I don't even, oh, it's got like bells in it. And it's, this is a lot. And oh my goodness, this is an embroidered pendant. So yeah, I don't even, my brain just like crapped itself. <laughs> I don't even know how to even go about this. So, I like, my brain is just, I can't even process the thoughts behind an embroidered pendant. My brain just won't do it. So, yeah, I'm a little freaked out and intimidated by this as well. Okay, okay, this I can get behind. This is a mandala design face mask for the COVIDs. Although I'm a little like, okay, we're starting, we're getting this at the end of the COVIDs, but 
I don't know. Let's see. Is it just the one? The one side? Yeah, it's just the one side. Let's see. Is this a cute, like, does this work? Does it cover my nose and my mouth? And it does. Oh, and that's cute. Okay, like, it's like a little cloth, like, really thin cloth. Um, Almost, uh, they have these masks that I'm seeing, like, in a lot of places to get where it's, like, a swimsuit material. And that's kind of what this feels like. And then it has a little, like, mandala uh, diamond painting design on it. And this has a toolkit. <laughs> and some special gems. And I think they're all kind of, yeah, they're all, like, the super iridescent, shiny ones that I like for stuff like this. So that's really cool. Um, This, oh, I've been eyeing these. Okay, cool. Oh, another one. Okay, so I've been eyeing one of these little slip grip mats. It's like a little silicone mat, and it's sticky, and it's got, like, um, it's grippy. So, like, it's got, like, a little grippy bit, because, like, I'm all the time, like, literally. It happened, like, four times last night. I was, um, working on diamond painting, because, okay, I've told you guys about my setup with my... Uh, ba -da -ba -da. brain just is not working today, but I've told you guys about my little setup with my desk lamp, my desk, like my lap desk and my giant light board that I use in the living room so that I can like be near Josh. Well, like literally no exaggeration, at least once, if not more, probably more. Every night, I will have the little tray with the drills in it, and I will knock it over and spill them all over my diamond painting or all over the couch, which I've gotten one of those little mini vacuums for drills for when they fall on the couch. But if they fall on the diamond painting, it doesn't really suck them up, and they just get stuck and make a mess. But this little grippy thing is to, like, set your tray on or your tools on so they don't, like, just knock over and into stuff. And I've been, like, eyeing these. I bought my mother-in-law one, and then I went and bought me some. I think I have, like, a three-pack that I bought. But this is a resin-turned stylus. And then it has, like, a ton of different uh, placers, like, placing heads. Okay, this is a scrapey one, which I've seen and kind of, like, I kind of think that's really cool. But then I've got, like, a angled placer, a single placer, a three or four, a six, and I believe that's an eight or a nine. So it's got all the different sized drill pin heads. So we'll put this back in its bag. And I'm really excited about using this. And I don't know how they know. Maybe they're stalking me on social media. But I don't know how they know my favorite color is blue. And they send me blue. Which is really cool. Maybe, um, like, maybe they're stalking me on social media. Or some other way. Maybe they watch my YouTube. Easy, ma'am. Blink twice if you watch my YouTube. Okay, cool. So, I've got this bag of things that are diamond paintings, but I don't know what they are. And I think I looked in the, okay, these have to be like gift tags. That's all I can think that they can be because they've got like, they're papery. So, I wouldn't want them to be like anything that would need to be substantial like a key train they have to be gift tags maybe i can ask josh because this is like just cord but i didn't remember seeing anything about these in my letter because i did peek at the letter oh they got they've all got like a special gem on them well, the kitty doesn't, but there's, they've got special gems on some of them. So, 
this is a, and I only know it because I read the letter. This is a, like, wooden tray table thingy for storing your tools and stuff. And there's a little, yeah, it's like a little wood storage rack. And you assemble it. And I don't know how to read these instructions. Oh, maybe if I look at the side that's like instructions. Yeah. So you just assemble it and then you have this little wooden tray for your stuff. Which is good. Because I need one of these to set up for my stuff. So yeah. That's the fun like bonusy stuff. So I'm going to put this back in here. Don't sue me, Nintendo. I don't know if you guys do that where you just kind of like have a little tune that you just kind of randomly hum to yourself or sing to yourself. But mine is always Mario Brothers. I don't know why. <laughs> um, it's been that way since I was a kid. Well, no. Maybe a teenager. I don't know. Ever since I started doing it, it's always been do, do, do. And if you don't know, that's Mario Brothers round. Oh, cool. That works out really good. Um, so, finally, like I said, I don't like doing the rounds from Easy One that much. And hilariously, I got two rounds and three squares. And the two rounds are the ones I'm just, like, okay about. Which is cool. Woohoo. Um, okay, so I got this little squirrel, which is kind of like, it's cute, but it's not really to my taste. This is like a winter fox, and it's the 40 by 50 in the round. Um, and it's cute. It, it's again, not like particularly to my taste, but it is cute. So we'll look at this one. So this is like a really pretty, like lady with like an eastern dragon and it's just a very pretty design and it had 35 colors this also has 35 colors and is a 40 by 30 and it is like a fairy on a mushroom I'm a sucker for fairies maybe Uzi one is watching my videos because this is like the second time they sent me like a really good fairy so easy one blink twice if you're watching my videos okay cool um, so I'll set that one over there to be opened. And then I've also got this one, which I think Josh is really going to like. And it is a 40 by 50 and has, um, I think 40 colors. Let's see. Let me tell me on the bag. Yeah, 40 colors. And it's a little green dragon that's like gorge. Super cute. And he's busting out of an egg. And he's got like these like wings with like the membrane-y looking stuff. And it's just a really cool diamond painting. So I'm really excited about this one. So I'm going to throw all the drills out of the way and the pictures out of the way. Okay. So these tweezers that I was like freaking out about at the beginning of the video. They're like the good metal tweezers and they're curved I've never seen curved ones only straight ones so like I've seen the little cheap looking silver metal ones like this but I've never seen like the good black metal ones with the silver tips like this they've done it again you guys <laughs> you guys are like what did they do again Dana why are you like ah okay so Again, I have a picture of, like, a diamond painting that is a portrait, and they have decided to be super cool and put the, um, key in landscape across the bottom, and we all know how I feel about that. It's like, guys, come on, just, like... Consistency is one thing, too, that I'm a little, like, sometimes with Easy Whim, I'm just like, what y'all doing? And again, um, if you guys watched my flash sale unboxing, 
They didn't send me any toolkits. How am I going to do diamond paintings without toolkits? Like... And I feel like maybe I'm kind of, like, putting them on blast and being a little bit of snarky, maybe, or kind of, like, meh, see, meh. But, like, I have a platform, and I'm, I'm technically an influencer. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm an influencer. Um, so I'm technically an influencer because I have more than one follower, and... <laughs> on a um more than one follower or subscriber on a social media platform i don't know if you know but if you have more than one follower or subscriber you're an influencer and i'm an influencer so yeah i'm gonna be cocky about it deal with it um so i feel like it's kind of like my job to tell you guys the truth and let you guys know what's up and what's going on and like my honest opinions about stuff and I try to do that every time I unbox or look at something or tell you guys about something because if I was watching someone for that and to see what they're getting and to know I'd want to know oh my god now like I can't stop doing it okay so we'll set this down and out of the way and we will look at the last diamond painting that we're gonna look at um, and this is, like, this really cute fairy, and she's got, like, a mushrooms going on, which is, like, a thing I like. Very Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe, and I'm very much in Alice in Wonderland. This, again, I believe is... So, I guess they are being <laughs> consistent, if consistent in a not-so-great way. And that it seems like a lot of my portrait diamond paintings are being, are having the keys going down the landscape side. So they're being consistent, just I wish they would be, con I wish they would do it the right way, I guess. Like, I, okay, I feel like I'm being like overly critical because it's not like it, there's a right or a wrong way, although like, you would think they would put the key along the same way that the picture goes so that you're not getting the symbols confused in your brain. And sometimes that can happen, especially like I feel like if maybe you um, are dyslexic or something of that nature, it might be a little easier for you to get confused that way, which they do give you the paper key. So, I mean... Like, it's one of those things that's, like, it's not amazing, but I guess it's, like, it could be worse. <laughs> they could do that and not give you a paper key, or, you know, it could just be unclear symbols, because they did do a good, they, I have been consistently pleased with the clarity and diversity of the symbols for the most part. Like, I've never gotten one where the symbols were super easily confused. So, here is the schematic of this fairy with the mushrooms. Um, yeah, I like this. I am very pleased with this box overall. Um, the diamond painting designs, like, all the fantasy ones are really good. Uh, the squirrel is super cute, although not to my taste. And... Um, the fox is really cute. Um, not necessarily one I'm gonna do. It might be something I give to my sister, but it is really cute. And let's see. I'm a little confused by some of the, uh, bonus craft items, but, you know, that's a, that's a problem for another day. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate, I appreciate all the watches, all the likes, all the subscribes all the follows, all of that stuff, and I really do appreciate you guys. And I, um, thank you so much. Bye.